Hi, this is Nikki with ChristianMommyBlogger.com and I am just going to show you basically how to go through your Yoast, your WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin settings. It's pretty easy. Most everything is already set up how it should be. Um, over in your dashboard, once you've activated it, you should see this SEO. Once you click on it, it will open its submenu. Now you can do a couple different things. You can... Um, I don't have it because I've done a tour, um, but right when you first go to your SEO dashboard, you can do a tour and just say start tour and it'll take you through each of these screens in detail. That is obviously a really easy way to, to learn a little bit about it. Um, but in general, you don't need to change anything with this first page. I shared yesterday about webmaster tools and how you can add your key here to link this to Bing, Google, and Alexa. Um, you This allows you to not have to dig into the metadata and insert any HTML or other crazy things that you might not understand into your site. This allows you to just insert it, save your settings, and the two um, you are linked to the search engine. I mentioned that I had a problem with Google. I'm going to try to figure out why that wasn't working and I will of course update my bite, my bite number two post uh, once I get that figured out. So next you can go ahead and click over at titles and metas. I'm just showing you each screen so that we don't forget it but I want to point out that nothing here needs to change. The whole point is that this is very advanced and you could potentially mess up your site <clears throat> so you don't need to worry about anything with titles and metas. In fact, I'm just going to go to the sites that you can look at. The XML sitemap is really cool. Make sure that box is checked. Check this box to enable XML sitemap functionality. And basically, um, I also checked this so as it lets Yahoo and Ask.com know in addition to Google and Bing, which we are already notifying right here. The reason that you want to do this is because if the if the spiders that are crawling have a map of where to go, they can navigate more efficiently and they'll find all of the information that's needed, which is just going to optimize your site even more. If you don't submit the site map, um, then then they're having to piece stuff together by 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 your stickiness. So links within your site that take you to another post and stuff, which you want to do that anyway, but by having a sitemap it makes it even easier, which makes your content even more available. So make sure that box is checked, <clears throat> and you don't need to worry about ever doing a sitemap, it'll automatically update for you. Permalinks, you don't need to worry about um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> your permalinks because you should already have them set up through your general um, settings and settings permalinks <clears throat> you don't want to change things and you don't want to limit things because you are not likely an advanced um, webmaster internal links this is for breadcrumbs if you don't do breadcrumbs then you can just disregard this I actually don't do any breadcrumbs on my site, so I don't have that box checked. So then head on over. This is your biggest one, and it doesn't have to do with your setup, but it is something. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Now, this is a screen. Like I said, you don't need it for your initial setup, but this is a really awesome feature. I would make sure that you have this here, the post this jargon appeared first on this jargon. <clears throat> you can find out all the information about what that means. But I recommend putting that in here. That's what shows you at the bottom of your RSS feed, what people get in their email and in their RSS reader, that this post was created by you and it first appeared here because then it's protected. People can know if they copy, if you copy the material, somebody else copies the material, at least it has your badge on it. Um, also, content to put after each post. You could then go down here and using HTML, 
you could insert the URL of a PDF or an ebook or anything that you want to give for free to your reader. Um, so if you want to say, you know, thanks for signing up, all subscribers get a free ebook, you would upload your ebook to your site and grab the HTML for the code, which is like a H-E reference anyway. Grab the HTML for your URL that you uploaded and insert that here and then you'll see it at the bottom of an email or an RSS so that your readers can get it for free but people that don't subscribe can't see it. Anyway, it's a pretty cool feature. Next is import export. This is really cool if you used all about um, SEO. I'm sorry, all in one SEO before in the past. Um, you can use this to import, which I've already done it. Import all in one SEO and then delete the old data. So I import the all in one SEO and then I don't want duplicate SEO information. I don't want duplicate SEO forms. So I'm going to import it and I'm going to delete it so that everything appears as though it's just been filled in with the WordPress SEO plugin. Click import and then save your settings. Also, if you run multiple sites like we do at Butterfly Ministries, you can export your settings. Like once I go through and I customize everything, I can export my settings and then I can import them into each of my other sites so that I don't have to go through each of these tabs for everything. And that's how I'd go into my new site and choose file and import the settings. So you don't need to edit any files. That's really, really advanced, advanced information. Don't mess with it. You don't want to screw up your plugin. So now once you have all of this done, you have updated your, you have installed and updated your settings. Oh, there's the start tour button I was telling you about. You can click that if you want more information. But this is, you're now up and running, and I highly recommend getting this all set up today. And then tomorrow, we're going to go through how to use the function for each post to optimize every single bit of content that you put out. It's super easy. It takes you, what, probably 30 extra seconds each time you do a post, and it's going to really optimize your blog and expand your reach. So thanks for joining us. Please, if you have a second, share about this post with others so we can spread the word <clears throat> about how fun SEO is and what Christian Mommy Blogger is offering. Thanks again. Have a great day, and God bless.